All right, guys, so iShow HD and iShow HD Pro were both released uh, last night. No, wait, earlier today, actually. Not much earlier because it's 11.40 p.m. right now. Um, and there's a few differences between the two applications. I'm not going to go into those much, though. Like, um, start low CPU mode is not in iShow HD. It's in iShow HD Pro only. And that just gets rid of the uh, real-time compression. You can make that optional. Um, also, keystrokes, which you can see here. Um, are only in HD Pro and so it has a few things but one of the uh, things that is probably the most the thing I like the most out of it that is in HD Pro only is watermarking and uh, watermarking is basically this you take uh, an image on your desktop and just drag it into the preview window and boom a watermark appears and you have item property uh, options right here um, and you have these little little uh, resize buttons so you can just resize it like this to pretty much any size so long as it can you can just do it you know fit in there um, you can resize them like this turn down the opacity if you wanted to or at a border and I'll show you a different one for the border hold on let me drag this over here um, so you see you can just place these like uh, you want your logo in the corner or whatever you just place it down there um, and you can do that and um, hold on position that right so uh, you can also use the media browser up here and this gives you access to your aperture libraries and your iPhoto libraries and um, pretty much anything else that does photo management uh, if it's supported um, by Apple directly or there's a plugin that fixes your media browsers it'll be supported in I show as well so here I have aperture I want if I just wanted to drag in an image to throw in here uh, I can I can like, of course resize it and uh, one thing I didn't show you is if you hold shift you can uh, change the uh, aspect ratio of it. Uh, let's delete that. So back in, back in there. Um, so of course, like I said, you can resize it. You can uh, change the opacity, and of course, you can always now add a border, um, like this border, and uh, you can change the color of the border. Hold up. So you can change the color of it to, let's say, if I wanted red or black, I can uh, through the Mac OS and color changer. Uh, these are the same controls that you uh, will have with the uh, camera controls up here. So, if you like these controls, just know that they're also worth a camera. So if you you could, you could at least tinker around with it in iShow HD if you are contemplating up, updating to uh, iShow HD Pro, um, and they work like this pretty well. And what we're considering adding in the future is uh, a shadow, so you can just check out this uh, check a shadow on. All of a sudden, this now has a shadow um, and a reflection, as those are just simple quartz compositions that we can add uh, at a later date. Um, and something I've been throwing it around lately is uh, a text command so you can directly type text onto it but um, you don't need that you, 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 it would be nice to have that but it's not in there right now you can always just use a picture like always for instance my website I can drag it right in there I can um, throw it down here and I can just resize it like that so you know my website in the uh, lower part of the screen down here and um, it's in there pretty well because we do support alpha channels and uh, of course all the controls fit it but with alpha backgrounds the borders aren't too too good and I can change down the opacity if I wanted to just to make it fit anywhere um, and so this is watermarking and we think that it's actually pretty important to have in here we thought it was really important um, for the sake that some it'll save some professionals uh, post-processing time to add in a watermark whilst recording uh, versus having to add it later on in the uh, post-processing uh, part of the uh, editing of screencasts. So we think that uh, watermarking is really fun fun to use, really simple to use as well compared to uh, how we implement it in, into uh, Stomp. Um, and it gives you a lot of functionality. It gives you a lot of power to, uh, if you wanted to quickly watermark your entire video, you could, or just add like a website URL um, and a, a, a means of contacting you um, or whatever, it's, it's a really cool thing to uh, have, and iShowHD Pro adds that functionality.